How's it going today? Uh, today I'm going to show you something pretty cool, really simple. I'm going to show you how to bring your backgrounds to life. Um, we're going to make backgrounds with Stable Diffusion and uh, Focus, and uh, we're going to take those over to our video editor. We're going to use CapCut today, but this will work in other editors as well. But we're going to add some atmosphere and ambience to them, and we're going to make them look cinematic and something that you could drop right into a little uh, short film or something you're working on. Anyway, let's get started. So over in Focus, I'm going to leave my settings basic. I'm going to turn on hyperrealism and uh, cinematic, and I'm going to go with a pretty wide shot here. I'm going to do 1600 by 640 so that it has that cinematic screen. Um, this one today I'm going to be working on is just like a snow scene. Like I'm going to put in Antarctica and get us a nice scene that uh, we can go make it look like it's real over in our editor. And we're going to run ourselves a couple of pictures here and see what we get. Now, even though I put uh, shallow depth of field in my prompt, I'm not super happy with this. So I'm going to drop it into um, Photoshop real quick and we're going to give that a little heavier depth of field. It'll give us a more realistic look in our final product. And all I'm doing here in Photoshop is I'm blurring heavy at the bottom edge. I'm going to come up a little higher and blur a little less. And then the very deep, far reaches of the picture, I'm going to blur those heavy as well. And then I'm just going to save that. So we're going to import that image now over here in CapCut, and we're going to drag the image down onto our timeline. Um, I'm going to set the time to around 10 seconds just for a demo here. Um, this is, you know, you can set this for anything you want. Now we're going to use the uh, keyframes here, and I'm going to show you how just a subtle bit of movement is way better than uh, a lot of movement or drastic movement. Um, depending on what you're doing, you might want to play around with the the scale or the you know position. On this one, um, I think I'm just going to do this the uh, position side to side and just get a, a very soft, smooth panning shot for this, and then uh, we're going to add some effects in after that. Okay, now that we've set our keyframes up, we're going to go over to the effects tab here and click on video effects. And we're going to type in, um, I think we'll go for mist here first. And a mist, it gives it, it actually just puts a mist over the entire screen. You can And you can control the, the strength of the effects with the uh, sliders on the right, the uh, atmosphere and the speed sliders. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop a couple other effects in here before just anything I'm going to grab um, a snowstorm effect here and drop it in as well and then I'm also going to go type in the search bar sun and that gives us a nice uh, flare look to the picture which you know that camera lens flare can add a lot of realism to something Now I'm going to go through each one of these and adjust the sliders until I get the, you know, the depth and the speed of the effect that I'm looking for. Being that we're in the Arctic, I'm, I'm going to turn it down on the atmosphere, which blurs it out a little bit and fades it. But I'm going to turn the speed up because I want it to look like the snow's blowing pretty hard. Then we're going to adjust the amount of uh, solar flare we're getting there, sun flare we're getting there. And once we're happy with those, I'm just going to drag those all out to the same length as the uh, original clip. And uh, so far, it's starting to look pretty good. Now, it wouldn't be complete unless we added some sound to it. So we're going to go to audio, the audio tab up here and go to sound effects. And I'm going to type in wind and listen to this one. Yeah, that sounds really good. That's got a nice uh, wind effect to it. Um, I'm just going to come down to the end of the clip here, and we're going to split that sound file and make it the same length as the rest of our clip. 
Now, if you notice here, if you grab the upright bar, you can change the length of the clip. But if you grab the little dot here, you can use that to fade the end of the clip. And I'm going to fade the wind sound out at the very end of the clip here. And that's pretty much everything I'm going to do in CapCut at the moment. There's a lot more that I can do. But for this little short demo, I'm just going to call it quits there. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like here at the end, especially if we throw a little bit of uh, text graphics in with it. And uh, for as quick and as easy as that was, I think this comes out really well. If you have any thoughts or ideas on how we could do this better, let us know down in the comment section and we would appreciate a like and subscribe and have a good one.